Hello, everybody. Welcome to Eastern Cape September 2022, Paper 2. Uh, this is a requested video. So let's do question one. Mrs. Pester sells 450 gram packs of rusts at 49 rand 50 per pack. So that information is going to be very important, how much each pack costs. And then we have um, the table below shows the main ingredients of the rust. So we're looking at the ingredients of the rust, the main ingredients. And the packet is 5,000 grams. So for the 5,000 grams of rusks, you will get self-raising flour, which is 1.56 kilograms, and bran flour, and raisins, and a butter. Uh, note that a rusk is a hard, dry biscuit or twice-baked bread. Oh, I didn't know they bake it twice, hey? Use information above to answer the questions that follow. Convert 1.56 kilograms to grams. So we are converting 1.56 kilograms to, this is just a starting point, a very nice one. So when we're converting, I'm just going to quickly show you. Um, I use the King Henry diet by drinking chocolate milk method where B is liters, meters, and grams. And this is mealy, this is kilo, and this is centi, right? So this question says we must convert from kilograms so we're moving from kilograms to uh grams so that would be kilograms to grams so we're going to move one two three that means we are going to use three zeros how do i do that from kilograms to grams kilograms is from the biggest to smaller so are we going to multiply so we're going to 1.56 kilograms multiplied by one with three zeros and then we get going to be 1560 grams then we go to 1.1.2. Write in simplified ratio form the mass of raisins to mass of butter. The mass of raisins, there it is, to the mass of butter. You write the ratio. They said we must write a ratio and then simplify it. Remember, it's going to be a simplified ratio, but first we have to write the ratio as it is. Okay, so the mass of raisins. So this side I'm going to write raisins because that's how they started. And then butter and then we say 125 is to um, 625 now when they say write this in a simplified ratio there is two types of ratios that they love using one they say simplify the ratio so that's the one where you have to make the numbers smaller by finding the number that goes in both. But then there's also a unit ratio. Don't confuse the two. A unit ratio is the one with, that starts with one and it says da da da. You see the one sometimes they ask it like that. It's called a unit ratio. Looking at this, what I always do is I always start with one. I say one. Uh, if I divide this by one and divide this by one, yes, I won't get a comma, but the numbers won't change. So I try two. I'm going to show you here. 125 divided by two. Too bad it gives me a comma. I try three. I say 125 divided by three. Too bad it gives me a comma. Let me try four. 125 divided by four gives me a comma again. 125 divided by five gives me 25. So 25 this side. And then let's check on the other side. 625 divided by five gives me 125. So this one will be 25 is to 125. Then I'm going to check again. Can I divide this by 2? 25 divided by 2? No. 25 divided by 3? No. 25 divided by 4? No. 25 divided by 5? Yes, I can divide this by 5, but let's check 125. 125 divided by 5 is 25. So I say 5, 25 divided by 5 gives me 5 is 2. 125 divided by 5 gives me 25. Right? And then I can still see that I can divide 5 by 5. So let's see. Can I divide 25 by 5? Yes. So I can divide by 5 this side and say 25 divided by 5 gives me 1. Uh, gives me 1 this side and 5 this side. So that is simplified. So what I can do as well is to say I can see already that 20. Let me try. You can try any numbers you want. But I like to start from the smallest number and build up. So this comes out as a unit ratio, but that's not what they asked, which is fine. Calculate the number of cups. Of bran flour needed if Mrs. Bester bakes eight kilograms of rice. So this 500, 5,000 grams gives me, I would need how much they say I must calculate flour, right? So how much flour, bran flour? 
six comma twenty five cuts. I'm going to write it exactly as it is first, right? So the ratio, the the the, the conversion factor here is. Bran flour, 6,25 cups of bran flour will give me 5,000 grams of rust. So 6,25 cups is 2 will give me um, 5,000 grams of um, rusks, right? So I'm writing rust this side. I'm writing, so I know it's rusks. So this is rusks. I can even say rusks here. If I'm going to forget, I'm worried I'm going to forget. Okay, so it's all measurements. It's better when it's money and measurements. When it's both measurements, sometimes you might forget. Calculate the number of cups of bran flour needed if Mrs. Bester begs eight kilograms. So I'm, I'm right. I've written it exactly as it's given. Remember, they gave me five thousand grams of rusks, and they say you need six point twenty-five cups for six point two five. Sorry, cups of bran flour. Now I want eight kilograms. Now. If I want 8 kilograms, then I will say uh, I have how much I want. I want 8 kilograms of rusts and I don't know how many cups. That's what's been asked, right? So what I do is then I'm saying I, I immediately I'm saying this is kilogram. This is grams. I cannot use this, right? So I can either change 5,000 grams to kilograms or I can change 8 kilograms to to grams it doesn't matter really so let me just convert kilograms to grams i'm just going to say kilograms uh, i'm going to say eight kilograms i did that in 1.1 already where i'm converting grams to kilograms i know now kilograms to grams is one ton multiplied by one thousand which is eight thousand kilograms ne? so i know this is this here is eight thousand grams so i'm lazy i just go oh it's not that it's going to be eight thousand grams right so and then i cross multiply now you so should rewrite this so 6.25 cups multiplied by eight thousand grams is equal to unknown multiplied by five thousand grams right and then i say my unknown is here with five thousand grams and it's being multiplied what is the opposite of multiply divide by five thousand grams and then what you do this side, you come on this side and do it again, 5,000 grams, and that cancels that, right? So unknown is sitting on its own now, and this 5,000 is on this side now. It will give me unknown, and then that is 10 cups. Now I know that the unknown, or what we need to know, is that 10 cups will give us 8,000 grams. Calculate the mass of raisins needed to bake 450 grams pack of rice. So this time we want to know 450 grams pack of rice. Right again with the rice and raisins. We're saying that here we need we've got 125 grams of raisins giving us 5,000 grams. Then so 160. 125 sorry 125 grams of raisins gives us um 5000 grams of rusks so i've rusked this side i've raisins this side so i'm going to write um my rusks this side i have 450 rusks so what raisins did i use if i have 450 rusks right so that is unknown here cross multiply again so i'll say 125 grams of raisins multiplied by 450 grams of rusks is equal to unknown raisins multiplied by 5000 grams of rusks so everything is in grams and raisins right Fifty six thousand two hundred and fifty, and that is that is trying to be as quick as possible. Hopefully, I won't make too much mistakes. Uh, 50, Eleven point two five grams of rusks.